Welcome to Great Day at 9 a.m. on this Friday Eve. It is, what, October 24th? Yeah, you're October 24th. I know because tomorrow's payday, October 25th. Does that mean a week from today it's going to be November 1st? It'll be thanks, uh, Halloween. Halloween, right, 31st. 31st. Got it. Got oh, my gosh. But still, Halloween is in a week. Oh, Halloween my gosh. i got to get candy. Get dressed. <laughs> well, I do have my outfit. All right, that's good. At least Not the candy, but I got the outfit. Well, the kids are going to be trick-or-treating with 70-degree warmth. Really? That's next week. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. No winter coats underneath the costumes? No winter coats underneath oh, the costumes. That's our kids all. are going to love us. They're going to love it. Uh, first alert, live radar. It, we did have a couple of scattered showers earlier this morning. They didn't amount to much, but we'll take every drop we can get, right? You can see a couple of specks of green there. It did nothing to uh, squelch the elevated fire weather concerns that are in effect across the state. We've got this dry stretch of weather with wind today that's going to be gusting 20 to 25, possibly even 30 miles an hour. Low humidity. It all adds up to a first alert weather day. Today, warm, dry, breezy. Any fires that develop could spread rapidly, so you want to avoid outdoor burning. All right, uh, future cast, tomorrow's weather today. There we go. Mostly sunny skies. I know it's cloudy out there right now, but we are anticipating mostly sunny skies through the day today. Tonight will be clear. Tomorrow is an exceptional day of weather. No wind. Temperatures in the low 60s. And then Saturday morning, there could be a passing sprinkle or a shower. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Most of the models are going dry. And then we'll be starting off with partly cloudy skies. And then uh, Saturday afternoon, it turns out mostly sunny. So for the rest of today, temperatures in the upper 60s. Your three-day forecast, a first alert weather day for today for the fire potential. And then Friday, bright, less windy Saturday, becoming mostly sunny. All right. Well. We need the rain. We need the rain. Yeah. Yeah. We're sick of watering our mums and mm. these wildfires. Absolutely. Uh, that is just the main concern right now. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing a drop there in the seven day. Nope. Dozens of acres are still burning right now on Lamentation Mountain, but firefighters are making some progress. Yeah. Olivia Shula joins us live from the base camp to break down the progress and explain how the community is stepping up. Hey, Olivia, how are you? Hey, Nicole and Scott. Well, everyone is really working together at this point. We have firefighters from multiple agencies that are working to try to get this brush fire under control. And while they're doing so, local businesses are stepping up. They're giving a helping hand to make sure those selfless firefighters are fueled with food. Let's start by sharing with you the latest updates on the fire. Firefighters have contained the fire from its peak range to around half of that size. This morning, we know more helicopters from Maine, as well as the National Guard, will arrive to support crews fighting the Hawthorne fire. Right now, about 70 members are on the ground trying to control the flames and put out hot spots. The Berlin Fire Chief is warning residents around Silver Lake to stay off the water as crews work. While all this hard work continues, local businesses are lending a helping hand. Hop House and Pizza Kitchen and Grill are dropping off food to keep crews fueled up. It's something firefighters are grateful for. It's been great the way that all the businesses in town have been supporting all the firefighters. You know, we're all volunteers, so it's great to see the town come together and help us all out. Now, here's what comes next. We've been watching since about 8.30 this morning. Helicopters in the sky bringing water from the uh, water point all the way over to where the smoke is still billowing out of the mountains. If you can take a look at that right now, you can see that there is still a quite a bit of smoke that is affecting this area at this point. Now, this operation, uh, we could learn when it started later today. So we are expecting to get an update here in a little bit. So make sure you continue to stay with us as this story continues to develop. We're live in Berlin, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Olivia. And then at 10 o'clock this morning, we're expecting crews to give another update. So we will have a team there and be sure to bring you those new information. And donations for food, water, and cash are being accepted at the Farmington Community Chest. We have a link to that on our website and the WFSB app. Mm -hmm. All right, new this morning, we know when the public can pay their respects to Robert Sharkovich, uh, the volunteer firefighter killed fighting the Hawthorne fire. Yes, a wake and funeral service will be held over the next few days. Dozens of people lined up to show their support for Sharkovich's sacrifice and hit for his family yesterday. He died after a UTV rolled over on the mountain. Friends tell us that he was courageous and even responded to the World Trade Center 
after the 9-11 attack. A wake for him will be held Sunday from 2 to 7 p.m. at the Farley Sullivan Funeral Home in Wethersfield. And then Sharkovich's funeral will be Monday morning at Hartford's Cathedral of St. Joseph. That all starts at 11 a.m. Sharkovich was a father of four and has twins who are seniors in high school. The family has created a GoFundMe, which uh, we have on our website right now, WFSB.com. Just heartbreaking there. I know, so sad. Yeah. Uh, coming up next on Great Day at 9A, why getting active helps more than just your physical health. Psychologist Dr. Laura Saunders checks in with us a little bit later on to reveal the proven benefits to exercise and how it can protect a child's mental health. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. And why families have more than one option for education right here in our state. We are getting some more information about how to choose your school. That's all coming up next. We're just getting started on Great Day at 9A.